Welcome to Onside. I'm Mark Gilbert and I'm joined by the Sun's European football correspondent Anthony Kastanakis and we'll be looking ahead towards Arsenal's clash against AZ Alkmaar and Lyon against Liverpool which has got massive implications for Rafa Benitez. So Anthony, let's start with the Gunners first. The Gunners coming off the back of a thump in 3-0 North London derby win against Spurs. How do you see this one going? Well Arsenal are full of confidence, brimming with confidence. 11 games without a defeat and um, the way they've approached the season seems to me to be the right way. Maintaining expectations at a reasonable level rather than talking their chances up and playing with the confidence that they had two years ago before they hit that bleep in February of 2008 where they lost basically ground in the league and that ended up costing them in Europe as well. I believe it was not such a bad result just because they got a late equaliser Alkmaar in the previous leg, in the previous round of the Champions League. I believe Arsenal have what it takes not just to win this group but to go very, very far in this competition this year. Do you think they've got enough at the back though to mount you know, a genuine challenge for the Champions League crown? We've seen Thomas Vermeulen come in, he's looked fantastic, he's formed a good partnership with William Gallas but again we saw against West Ham two got. Arsenal would never have let a two-goal lead slip ten years ago with, with Steve Bold, Tony Adams, guys like that, Sol Campbell even. The first choice they have is superb. They have bedded in a back four and of course for Mellon's addition has been superb for Arsenal. I firmly believe they have what it takes defensively. You, any team can get le let a lead slip away. It's, it's not really, um, it's nitpicking to say that Arsenal are fallible because they've drawn two games. They haven't lost those two games, they've drawn them. But the more important thing here is to remember, Arsenal, yes, they do need a defensive midfielder to shield their back line. But in terms of strength in depth, only Wenger can regulate that. And Wenger has to decide whether he needs to bring someone in to bolster his back line. Gallas is playing the best since he joined. Vermeulen is the perfect complement. For me, the best back four in the land on form at the moment. So call it Wednesday night's game? They will win it. It's clear they will win it. I've seen Arsenal 12 times this season and they've played superbly in most of those games. Uh, they're a better team than Alkmaar and I'm sure this, this time their focus will not slip for one second and it's going to be a probably 2-3 home, nil home victory. So moving on to Lyon versus Liverpool. This has got huge implications for Rafa Benitez. We thought possibly Liverpool may have been coming out of the blip with the, uh, the win over Manchester United. Huge crash against Fulham on, uh, over the weekend. How do you see this one going? It's a very tough one to call. There is an upshot for Liverpool that Lyon are also in trouble. The captain, Sidney Gavou, was caught inebriated last week and was stripped of the captaincy. He did turn in a man of the match performance in the derby against Saint-Étienne though. And Lyon have climbed up to second in the French league. Very good side. Beat Liverpool at Anfield. It's a very difficult situation. Rafa Benitez, after six years, no signs of real progress in terms of the way they play and clearly in terms of the players they have amassed as the fringe players, the squad players. His first 11 is an OK team on their day. Beyond them, it's chaotic. I don't know how he can justify the way Liverpool have been playing football, let alone the signings he has made to complement his first team, his first choice. They're certainly weaker than last season. Aquilani has come in at huge cost, even though up front they've only paid five million of the 20 of the total fee. It's a very difficult situation. Aquilani will probably not be available on Wednesday. And Fernando Torres, of course, and Steven Gerrard, it all hinges on them. It's the most important game Liverpool have played in years, but only for one man, for Rafa Benitez. Is this the most important game ever in his Liverpool career? Is it more important than European Cup finals? I think most people will see it like that. But the reality is, the overall picture of the club is such that it doesn't allow much scope for optimism. Even if you hit a good form for one game and you raise yourselves and you beat United, reality is you go with your second string at Arsenal, they play with their second string and they basically outclass you. And then you go to Fulham and when you need to win to sustain the league bid, however ailing it might be, and you substitute Fernando Torres half an hour from time with the scores level. Um, it is a and very, take very off your best player in Ben Ayun. Absolutely. It is a very difficult situation to be in. So is he a dead man walking? In many people's eyes he is. 
in many people's eyes he isn't. He polarizes opinion, Benitez. Obviously, he has won the Champions League, which with the fans, that's always part of legend. And he has shown signs of progress, but not enough progress, not quickly enough, at huge cost for Liverpool. Time is fast running out. So call it. Are they going to do it in Lyon? It depends on the fitness of Gerard and Torres. Um, I was at Craven Cottage on Saturday. Benitez left us in the dark. Torres did come out to do the warm down afterwards. And I'm sure he will start. Very, very difficult game to call. Heart says Liverpool. Mind says draw at best. Anthony, thanks very much for joining us. If you can't watch all the games on TV on Wednesday night, you can keep up to speed with all the scores at thesun.co.uk forward slash matchcentre.